28 years. And I'm going to assure you that hate does, in fact, have a home here. It has a, had a home here for a very long time. And it breaks my heart to tell you that. What we hope, what we hope is to heal our circle. We are here gathered here, dearly beloved community, because there are people who feel outside of the circle. It's been broken. The sacred hoop is broken. There are people who are outside of the circle because of the color of their skin. There are people who are outside of the circle because of their gender or their perceived genders. There are people outside of the circle because of their economic class or because of their physical abilities. There are so many ways that we create circles, circles that we exclude one another from. So as we keep trying to create these circles of perfection that we can live together in our communities, but we don't commune. We're not communing because it's, we, we don't know each other. We don't know each other because we're afraid at this point. I would like to acknowledge there are people standing here who are traumatized and are standing here shaking today. And when I say that, please do not minimize what I'm saying. There were people within earshot of our town's common where some of these KKK neo-Nazi stickers were found and where and, not, and this isn't the first time we had Patriot Front recruitment stickers on Main Street in October during our election season to intimidate voters and to recruit the Patriot Act, the Patriot Front people who eventually stormed our Capitol on January 6th. And some people were so surprised, but some of us were not. We've seen these warning signs for such a very, very long time. Last night, a police report was made and it was also communicated to the FBI that within earshot of the town's common, voices were heard saying, don't worry, we're the KKK. We'll take care of this. I have a pretty good idea who, who's saying that. I have a pretty good idea who's saying that, and I know this for a fact. There are common, there are cameras all over this town. There are ca cameras on our town common, cameras in front of all of our fire stations, and they were paid for with Homeland Security money. But they're never consulted when something like this has happened. And why might that be? I am going to put out a conjecture here only without any names. The reason why is because they don't want to see that it may be one of their own. Very likely is one or more of their own. This is scary for me to say I live on Church Street. I live on Church Street and it's not my first time around with these people threatening me, threatening my community, vandalizing my home, death threats in my planter. No, it is not the first time. And do I feel protected in this community? No, I do not. So if you hear a lot of emotion in my voice, I am letting it out. I am giving it to you in full voice on behalf of those who are too afraid to. I have been standing up. I have been standing up in front of them all of my life. I have had my own child's life threatened by people who told me what she was wearing that day. Did the FBI help me? No, no, no. And that's a very long story. And this isn't about me. I'm willing to share my story. And I am willing to stand here with you, not for you. Not for you, with you. I am not an ally. I am your sister. I am your sister. We are a family. We are a dysfunctional, messed up family that does not know how to talk to each other anymore. This is why I invite you, all of you, all of you, to join me now every, every first Sunday of our months. 
from here probably for the rest of my life. I don't know. I've done these things for years and years and years of my life. But I will be there with you every Sunday, first Sunday of the month, rain or shine, from 12 to 12.30, to stand in community on our common ground, on our town common, with our town people, to stand together for what we are for, what our yes looks like. What does the community of yes look like? We are so beautiful, red and yellow, black and white. And we need more than performative gestures. We need more than putting Black Lives Matter flags up there because that will create a backlash that is so predictable because the snakes go back up on the town common the next day. I had people threatening my life when I protested the Tea Party putting the snakes up on the common, the don't tread on me flags, in the immediate aftermath of Obama's inauguration. From that point on, the Freepers in this town, the KKKers in this town had my name and address online, and I was receiving death threats. I had trucks going up my street with all of the nasty stuff like that because I protested a flag on our common that didn't belong there because it was in violation of regulations. And I will make the same claim about a Black Lives Matter flag because it's outside of the circle. And because it isn't, it isn't one that is agreed for our common, our common town on municipal property. And so it's not that I don't think Black Lives Matter. Oh, please never make that mistake. It shouldn't be Black Lives Matter. What we need to hear is, do Black Lives Matter? Do Black Lives Matter? Absolutely. Yeah. Every do day. Black Lives Matter? Every day. Do Brown Lives Matter? Every day. Do Yellow Lives Matter? Every day. Do White Lives Matter? Every day. Do Queer Lives Matter? Every day. Do Cripple People's Lives Matter? Every day. Old people? Every day. Young people. Every day. Rich people. Poor people. Do we matter? Absolutely. Do you matter? Absolutely. I love you so much and I hope you'll be with me on the first Sunday of the month, every month from 12 to 12.30 to stand on common ground because we are a family under one sky. Dysfunctional maybe. And, and we don't have enough room to invite you all but I do want to say for those of you who are observing, who are observing Ramadan, thank you for being here while you are fasting. Thank you for being here in a difficult time. May your fast be worthy. May your feast be a celebration. And may we all face, all of us under this one sky, come together finally as a family. I love you. Thank you for listening. Thank you.